dynamic force behind Style and Society magazine, entertainment host. Hi, I'm Kenya Claiborne. And influencer. But there is one thing that this editor-in-chief has yet to be called. You know, I've never actually been called a boss babe before. <gasps> Yeah, you heard right. That's why we're setting the record straight with Kenya at the beautiful Orlando Hotel in Los Angeles. Let's be honest, starting your own business is no easy task. This is so I get all the good juicy details yes. from you. Tell me a little bit about Style and Society. So Style and Society is a online magazine. It's a platform that I launched about four and a half years ago. It's fashion, entertainment, lifestyle, travel, food, events. Um, it's kind of everything. You know, I am a dynamic woman. You know, I like a lot of different things. And so I wanted to create a platform that really spoke to, um, you know, all of those things. And being the boss babe that she is, that is exactly what she did. Guys, I'm Kenya Claybo with Style and Society Magazine. And we are here at the 2017 American Music Awards. We had this, this aha moment, like, wait a minute. This doesn't exist, why not create it? Kenya created Style and Society magazine, not as a means to become rich and famous, but for something much greater. You know, I really started Style and Society as like, more like a creative passion. You know, it wasn't to, you know, really like make money, or it wasn't to like, you know, be this like big entrepreneur. It was really to create something that I'm able to share my passions and love with the world. Lucky for her, those passions were something that her audience of over 95,000 people connected with across the globe. And with over 15 years of media experience, Kenya knows a thing or two about the business. I actually started out my career actually working in media. Um, I worked in um, radio, I worked in TV news, um, I worked in print, and then transitioned from the media world actually into PR. And so on the PR side, you know, I worked with, you know, you know, Fortune 50 companies, big brands like IKEA North America, you know, American Honda Motor Company. I even worked in entertainment as a brand and events publicist, you know, managing, you know, red carpet events and talent. You know, some of my other jobs that I've had in my career haven't really been sexy. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been passionate about. Sometimes your job isn't necessarily what you're passionate about, mm -hmm. but if it's not, then create something that is. You know, I didn't have all the answers when I started. I mean, I really started and just learned as I went along. Right. And that's kind of how it all happened. I think we can all agree that Kenya is killing it. And I bet you all want to know how she does it all, right? I think for me, like I'm really good at like balance you know, and work-life balance, you know? Okay. And so, you know, everything that I do, I do because I love doing it. Do you, you have know? a work-life balance? I do, because my work is fun. And for all of you influencer boss babes out there, she has some words of advice on how you should be sharing your content. You're spending all of this energy and time and dedication to creating all of this great content. Why not create it on your own platform and use social media sites to help generate the awareness mm -hmm. for your platform. And even though she told me that she has never been called a boss babe before, it is clear that Kenya is a boss babe, especially by her own definition. I think that this is it's a new term of empowerment. Um, you know, we are in the season of women empowerment. You know, women are, you know, really just like stepping up and demanding like the attention and the recognition that they really deserve. And so, you know, what a boss babe means to me is, you know, a woman who is confident, who is secure, who goes against the grain, you know, someone that really sets her own path. Amen, Kenya. And before we go, she's sharing her top three tips for success. Somebody out there is looking and they're like, I want to be what Kenya is. What are your top three tips hmm. for them to get where you are today? Um, so I would say, you know, number one, um, you know, outline really what it is that you're passionate about, number one. Then take that idea, take whatever whatever it is that you're passionate about and, and do something with it, create something for it. Mm -hmm. um, create something that might help other people or be a resource to other people. I would say then number three, how do you take that to the next level? Yeah. You know, how do you continue to grow? How do you continue to learn? How do you continue to expand? Yeah. And I think those would be my top three. Yeah.
Man, this has been such a good session. Yes, girl. Can we cheers to that? We can cheers to that. All right, guys. Well, if you want to stay up to date with Kenya and Style and Society, just go over to styleandsociety.com. Anything else? Uh, check us out on social media at Style and Society. Go do that. But before you do, subscribe to this channel because you're not going to want to miss all the amazing boss babes that we have coming. Cheers. Cheers. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>